All right, pre-calculus fans, today we're going to look at solving polynomials. So we're going to look at how to solve this fourth degree equation. And we'll remember, a fourth degree, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then there's x to the power of 0 here that we don't need to see. So now, in order for us to solve a polynomial, we're going to do this by synthetic division. So remember, synthetic division, we need our coefficients. So we have a 2, we have a negative 1. We have a negative 16, we have a negative 3, and we have an 18. So then the question boils down to what numbers do we try here? <clears throat> All right, we don't just pick any random number like a 5 or a 4 or 17 or anything like that. There's a certain list of possible positive, uh, a certain list of possible um, rational roots that we have. And the possible... Possible rational root list, notice I said possible, is what we say is P over Q. Well, what the heck is P? P is the last term. It's our constant. So this right here is the P value. We ignore the sign. So the P value is 18. So I need all the factors of 18. So we have 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. So these are all the factors of 18. Then I say Q. Well, where the heck is Q? Q is the lead coefficient. So 2, so I need all the factors of 2, 1 and a 2. So this P over Q literally means all factors of P over all factors of Q. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this out. I'm going to do... 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, and these are all over 1. This will be the la first and last time that you see me put them over 1. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, all over 2. Okay? And then what we say, plus and minus the list. Uh, notice we ignored any signs, okay? So that's why we always say plus and minus the list. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 12, we have actually 24 numbers that we could possibly try here, okay? Notice I said possibly try, okay? But you have to realize, we don't use all 24 numbers. If you're using all 24 numbers, there's, there's something wrong, okay? Also, notice some numbers repeat themselves. 2 over 2 is 1. Well, I don't need that. I don't need to look at it twice. 6 over 2 is 3. Anything that we can reduce, we can cross out because we already have it. 18 over 2 is 9. So I just reduced my list by a few. Not a lot, but it doesn't matter. This is the possible, notice 4 is not on the list, so I'm not going to try a 4 over here. Notice six is not, uh, uh, 7 is not on the list, or a 5. That's fine, we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Now, what do we do? Well, you have to realize, this is a 4th degree equation. In a 4th degree equation, if we get one of these to work, we actually reduce it down to a 3rd degree equation. Okay. And then from a third degree equation, we can reduce to a second degree. Second degree is your x squared. And then we can either factor or else use the quadratic formula for when we have a quadratic. All right, so let's start guessing here. So now you're literally guessing here. Close your eyes, pick your favorite number to try. Okay, me personally, I always like to try my ones and my negative ones. Okay, so I'm going to try negative one first. I always start small, and I just make a systematic way of doing it. Um, and you see the 18s and the 9s here? I stay away from the bigger numbers here. 
So I always start with the smaller numbers first and then I go to my fractions, okay? So, and I will show you what happens with a fraction that works and a fraction that does not work. Okay, so let's do this one right here. So we're gonna try negative one. So we're literally doing synthetic division. And remember, this spot right here is the remainder. We want this to be a zero. If it's not a zero, we start over. All right, so I drop the lead and I start multiplying. Negative one times two is negative two. Then we add. Negative one times negative three is three, we add. Negative one times negative 13 is positive 13, we add. Negative one times 10 is negative 10. Well, guess what? That's not zero. If it's zero, we keep it. If it's not zero, we don't care what this number is. So this means negative one does not work. So now let's try positive one. And now let me get my stuff written down. Okay. So now we're trying positive one. I'm gonna drop the lead. All right, one times two is two, then we add. One times one is one, then we add. One times negative 15 is negative 15, we add. 1 times negative 18 is negative 18, and look at this, that's a remainder of 0. 1 works. Yay, it works. Now, we could have a repeat root. So you could, if you wanted to, try 1 again. But if you try 1 again, you do not go back to the original. You always use the reduced form. Notice this is a fourth degree equation. It has five terms. We have a remainder of zero. We just broke this down to four terms. This is a third degree equation. If I can lose one more number, then it becomes a second degree equation and those we can factor. Okay? So if you want to try one, you can. I'm going to tell you right now just to save time. One doesn't work again. Okay? So let's try. So now when I do my next number, I'm going to show you a fraction. We're going to try one half. I want to show you what, what happens with 1 half. So we have 2, negative 1, negative 16, negative... Oh, wait a minute. What am I writing down? i got to use my reduced. 2, 1, negative 15, negative 18. Okay? So believe it or not, in a sense, we have a new PQ list. Okay? I know it's still 18 and still a 2, but technically we have a new list. If this is like, if this right here was a, like a three or something like that, then we'd have a, a new list. All right, so now in this reduced form, remember negative one doesn't work, it'll never work. Okay, we could try one again, but we're not, I told you, we're not, because we, I know it doesn't work, so let's, I'm gonna show you what happens with a half. So I drop the lead, what's half a two? Hopefully you'll remember that is one. Half a, uh, so now I add is two, Half a two is one, that's negative 14. Half a negative 14 is negative uh, seven, so that doesn't work. So a half doesn't work. Uh, I wanna try three over two now. Mr. Parada, three over two, I don't know how to do that. Oh, stop your belly aching. Three over two times two is three. How did I get that? That's right. Two goes into two once times three is three. Then I add. Two goes into four how many times? Twice, two times three is six. Then we add here, that's negative nine. Now, look at this. Does two go into nine evenly? Can I take half of nine nicely? No, we can't. It doesn't work, okay? Here I had to keep working because I could keep taking halves. Here, two does not go into nine evenly, so we're done. So three halves doesn't work. All right, let's try negative three halves. So two, one, negative 15, negative 18. Drop the lead. Two goes into two, so in other words, negative three halves times two is negative three. 
2 goes into 2 once times negative 3. That's negative 2. 2 goes into negative 2 once, so it's negative 1, so that's a positive 3. That's negative 12. 2 goes into 12, negative 12. Negative 6 times negative 3 is a positive 18. If you can't do that in your head, you pull out your handy-dandy calculator, and guess what? That works. Yay! All right, now, notice what happens here. What degree is this? There's three terms. This is a second degree equation. That's right. And then look at all your numbers. What do you notice? 2, 2, negative 12. That's right. I can reduce these all by 2. I can divide everything by 2 here. So if you want me to write it out, I will. 2x squared minus 2x minus 12 equals 0. And I can divide everything by 2. So I have x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. And then hopefully you can quickly factor that out in your brain power. So we have solutions of the one that worked way over here and the 3 and a negative 2. Okay? These take time. Okay, all it is is multiplying and adding. Let's do another one. Oh, I forgot negative three halves. I gotta squeeze that in somewhere. It's supposed to have four roots. One, two, Three, four. So one, two, three, four. All right. Let's do another one. I'll keep it simple for you guys. I know this is challenging work, this adding and multiplying. All right. Um, so what do we have here? Let's do... Number two, x to the fourth minus 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 64x minus 64 equals zero. That's right, we need our PQ list. I know it's a big one, 64. Oh, well, you can deal with it. What's our Q value, by the way? That's right, it's a one. Okay, so our P is 64, Q is one. Well, hopefully you don't have to worry about the factors of 1. All right, so I need all the factors of 64. So I think what I'm going to do to make my life easier for myself, I'm going to list them, and then I can write them, and I'll just list them because we don't have to do a P over a Q. So we're going to do a 1 and a 64, 2 and a 32. Uh, 3 doesn't work. 4 goes into 64 16 times. Uh, five doesn't work, six doesn't work, seven, is that it, eight? And then eight, that can't be. Yeah, it is. Okay, there's your list right here. So we have one, two, four, eight, uh, 16, 32, 64. And then don't forget it's plus and minus. Okay, plus and minus. So what are our coefficients, right? We have a one, a negative four, a negative 12, a 64, and a negative 64. Notice there's five terms, one, two, three, four, five. All right, what number do you wanna try first? One, fine, we'll try one. I'll drop the lead. One times one is one. That we add is negative three. One times negative three, and then we add. One times negative fifteen, we add. No, that's that. That's forty nine. Right. Yep. And then one times forty nine. Guess what? Is that going to be a zero? Right, one doesn't work. Negative one. One, negative four, negative 12, 
64, negative 64. Drop the lead. All right, that's negative 1, negative 5, 5, that's negative 7, 7, that is a 71, negative 71. I don't worry, I'm done. All right, let's try 2. 1, negative 4, negative 12, 64, negative 64. Drop the lead. 2 times 1 is 2 in most books. We add. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 2 times negative 16 is negative 32. We add. We have 32. And then 2 times 32. Woohoo! It works! So now what degree equation is this? That's right. This is a first degree equation. Excuse me. First degree. This is a what degree? That's right, I did that on purpose, making sure you were staying awake. This is a third degree equation, there's four terms, okay? All right, so now what number do you wanna try? That's right, I'm gonna try two again. So this works, yay! So remember, I use your reduced. I'm gonna try two again. You can try any one of these numbers. You can try four right now if you wanted to. I'm going to use two. Maybe it repeats itself. Drop the lead. Two times one is two. I add a zero. What's two times zero? That's right. Hopefully you'll write down zero and not some other wacky number. And then two times negative 16 is negative 32. It works. So two works. How do I write this? as a what degree? That's right, it's a second degree. There's three terms. How do I write this out? That's right, it's x squared minus 16 equals zero. And hopefully you can either factor it or else you can say, oh, that's just plus and minus four. I will factor it. So we have negative four and four, and then we have our two and our two as our roots. That's how we do it. Nice, straightforward, and easy. Not hard. Some of the easiest work you'll do. So you want to do one more? Okay, we'll do one more. So we have what? 3x cubed minus 22x squared plus 5x plus 14 equals 0. So that's right. What's your p value? Right. p is 14. And what are all the factors of 14? That's right. It's 1, 2, 7, and 14. What's q? That's right. It's a 3. What are all your factors of 3? 1, 3, 7, 9, 12. Hopefully you'll just say 1 and 3. So what's our P over Q? It is right. It's 1, 2, 7, 14 all over 1. And then it's 1, 2, 7, 14 all over 3. And then we do plus and minus that list. On a quiz, if you leave out the plus and minus, you're losing points. So don't leave out the plus and minus. All right. What number are we going to try first? That's I thought you were going to say a fraction. That's a good idea. Let's try a fraction first. Fractions are friends. Oh, by the way, are we missing any terms? No? Okay, so then we don't have to worry about any placeholders. I think in the homework I had you missing a term on a couple problems, so don't forget your placeholders. By, how many times do I have to get synthetic division to work here? That's right, once. It's a third degree equation, and I only have to get synthetic to work once. Once it works, it breaks it down to a second degree, and in your homework assignment, you'll be able to factor it. Okay?
Remember, fractions are friends. Drop the lead. So what's a third of three? Hopefully you'll say one. Three goes into three, one. One times one is one. All right, now I'm adding negative 21. Three goes into 21, seven times, so that's negative seven. Five minus seven is negative two. Does three go into negative two? No, so one third is done. Okay, well, let's try negative a third. Now, unless you have a suggestion you want me to try, dropping the lead. All right, three goes into three right, so I have negative one, so it's negative 23. Does three go into negative 23? No, one third is out. Negative a third is out. All right, let's try negative two thirds. Mr. Parada, you skipped positive two thirds. Of course I did. I don't want to be here all night. Drop the three. Three goes into three once times negative two. That's negative 24, okay? And now three goes into 24, eight. So negative eight times negative two is positive 16. So that's 21. And then this is negative 14. Three goes into 21, seven times two, negative 14. Woohoo! it works. Okay, it works. Plump and perky turkey, it works. Ah. Now, look at that. 3, 24, 21, what can we do? That's right, we're going to divide everything by 3. So we have a 1, we have a negative 8, and we have a 7. So write that out as a, as a quadratic. x squared minus 8x plus 7. Hurry up and get that factored. So we have negative 2 thirds, we have a 7 and we have a 1, and that is solving these polynomials using synthetic division. You must use your PQ list, that is a must. Enjoy.